very important to optimize your instagram business account hi guys in this video i'm going to show you guys how to optimize your instagram business account because it takes two seconds for people to understand what you do as soon as they enter your page and when you come to your page and they don't understand what you do then you lose those people you lose those potential clients or follower so it's very important to optimize your business account and in this video i'm going to show you guys how to do so whenever i look at brands like coca-cola pepsi and mtn and the rest you notice that they have something unique about their page their instagram page you can see their colors their write-ups and what they do it's well detailed and well explained anyone that comes in will understand straight what these guys do and this increases total trust for brands and also optimizing really helps people find you your account and trust you because people are going to trust you and are going to follow you because they know what you do and the color and the brand just gives people this remembrance of you when you choose a particular color for your brand people intend to download this to their brains and they keep it there somewhere i don't know where they keep it in their brains but they do keep it somewhere now first of all you need to set up your profile and the things you need to set up your profile are your name your category of your business or the category of what you're interested in as a person your location very important for your business your website link and then your bio description very important guys now when writing your name you must have to use a keyword that is represented in your niche that is if you if you if your company is about coffee then you're going to write hashtag coffee or if your company is about makeup you're going to write hashtag makeup hashtag makeup artist because writing keyword with your name is very important for search so when people search you they are able to find you i'm going to show you guys how to go about this your category is the category of under what your business belongs to so you're going to write it so if you sell clothes your category is going to be under fashion and then clothes or clothes design or so you should just get to know which categories you will belong to and then fix it there location really helps people find you let's say you are selling a product in a, in a particular place in a present location and people need to come and get the product from you they need to know where you are so they can go pick up your product website link having a website is very important for your business so it depending depending on what you want to do with websites so it's not necessary but it's important in bio description when you're writing a bio description you have to you have to sell yourself you have to answer questions that people may ask so it's very important when you're writing your bio questions to write in your bio on how to write your bio first question is what is so special about you how can you help your customer achieve what they want when will you be available for your customers to reach you and if your customers want to place an order how can they place it so these are the things you're going to write in your bio and they are very important so let me go to my phone and show you guys how to transform this account from looking like this to this yes so guys what you have to do is just click on this edit profile then here you have your use your name and then here you have your username your username is what is going to display on the top of your page and that is where people can locate you wait and then this is where you have your website and you have your bio here here you have your email your phone number and then your gender prefer not to say and it's optional let's leave all of this and then come to where it says bio and then we're going to repeat our bio okay so guys so you can see we have pasted we have copied and pasted what we have written so far you can see we have our branded clothes face and uh, face painting here customized wares and look at you can see the categories and the subcategories like shirt trousers or pants and shoes and then face painting so what we're going to do now is now come down where it says email we're going to repeat our email but for now we have not yet done with our email so we're going to leave where it says email and mind you where it says um bio you can still put your your contact us and that's what we're going to do so we're going to give a space and then we're going to put our contact us so guys you can see we have, we have inserted our contact us and our location and this is very helpful so that people will know where you are located at if they want to make a purchase from you so this is very important you should consider doing this so we're happy with our changes now anytime we can come back and change so we'll just click on submit okay so you can see here it says it was more than 150 characters down so what we're going to do is go back and then edit it to make sure that it doesn't exceed 150 or, or what the number that they put there so you guys should take notice of that we're going to do that and continue see you in the next part everything is here now so anyone that comes to this page is going to understand exactly what we do that is branding clothing and then face painting then customize wears shirts trousers pants shoes face painting and then they can contact us with this but we have a problem with our, our profile picture 
so we're going to edit that we're going to align it well okay guys so we're here at canva.com and i'm going to start showing you how i created the how i created the dp and the other pictures so first of all what i did is um this blank you come you look for a square you search for a square pattern and then it's going to give you the square pattern then you you select it it's going to bring you here if you don't know tutorials on canva.com then the link is below watch the tutorial how to navigate around and then come back so what you're going to do first is you're going to click on this plus where it says add and then we're going to look for our logo which is this and then it's added it is added come to this uh this whole place and then click on the color and then change it change the color to to black so you can see everything has become black and the jvd has stand out so what we're going to do next is come to this place where it says plus again and then we're now going to look for we come to this element sorry then we we're going to type in um neon neon circle so we are caught we are caught with so many circles here i guess this depicts our logo best so we're going to click on this one with a little orange and so so you can see it has popped out and it's shiny it's very shiny so what we're going to do now is um either save it or enlarge it but i i, I prefer it this way so what we're going to do is we just we just click on save and then click on download so now that we're back here let's put up our add our profile picture and then this is our profile picture so we just put it and then we click on save to saving and then voila you can see looking very beautiful so let's continue so next is how we're going to edit our posts so first of all what we're going to do with this in our post is you see we have a blank page so what we're going to do first is we click on the blank page and then change the color to our branded color so we're going to choose green as you can see this is our branded color a bit light green or so then what we're going to do next is we're going to come here and click on this plus we're going to select one of our pictures from gallery Add to page and then you can see that's added to page so what we're going to do is just so yes we leave it like this and then we just click on save and then download so now guys how to make a post you can see what we finished designing and then we now selected it to post it and then this is what we did we now said uh, done and dusted ready for pickup and then we now put our our username hashtag and then a hashtag that uh, it's presented in our niche it just really helps people find us and, and that is just one important thing about it so we're gonna just click on share and then post it so you can see it has posted already and anyone that, that types in this hashtag is likely going to see us if we should continue posting things like this using these particular hashtags and if they use this hashtag with our username then we are going to pop out and this helps us help people find us more so guys for you to achieve that highlight this is what you do when you're in canva.com just come here and then type in square from scratch let's start from scratch type in square and then you just search gives you so many options for square just choose any one let's go with this one all you have to do now is just to delete all of this just delete all of this then you change the color here you change the color to, to white yes just change it to white and then you're good to go so what you do next is um you select your the image you want to use so you select what you want to edit so guys you can see we've selected a picture we want to edit all we have to do now is just to scale it up yeah so this is the way we want it and then for the background we're going to just start for the background and then yes so what, what we're gonna do now is now come here to this plus and then we're going to elements just to make our own unique and so we'll go to our neon circle and then we'll pick that particular circle yes this one so we scale it and then center it to the middle and then what we're going to do next is just to add up um, some text a glowing text yeah this glowing text and then change the text to branded t-shirts and we're happy with this so all we do is just to save it here then download it so guys mind you in order for you to get it to the highlights all you have to do is post a, a story so we're just going to click on plus here and then we're going to so we'll post the picture just in editing a story and this is the picture here 
So this is what we're posting. Mm -hmm. Then you just post it, you click on send. And then done. So you can see it's posting on the, on the story. You can see it's posting on the story and it has posted already. So we just tap on it and all we have to do is to add it to our highlights. So this is where we're going to click on this highlight and then we say new, new highlight. Then we'll write the name. So guys, you see, we'll leave it as branded shirts and then we click on add and then it has added to our new highlight. You can see it here. These are two. So this is the face painting that I did first earlier on. And you can see, see, see all of these pictures here are for the face painting. And then here is for the branded shirts. So all you have to do now is just to add more pictures to your story. And then you just come here and then click on highlight. And then you just select where you want the highlight to be. So this one is for face painting. So we leave it as face painting, yes. And if you should add any picture that um we want people to we, we want it to be on branded shirts then we'll just click on it and then we'll just add on branded shirts and then that is how we're going to add them to the collections of branded shirts let me show you guys how to do this so as you can see this other t-shirt it's already branded it's it's part of our work so we we'll just click on it and then a little bit just scale it like this and then we'll just um send to story and then yes share to our story done and then guess what so when we come to check the story again that so all we have to do now is just to click on the highlights and then we select where we want it to go that is branded shirt and then we click on branded shirt and then it's adding to branded shirt highlights and it has added so when we come to this branded shirt out here and then click on it and then you see so this is the first image and it looks this is a second image so this just really helps your clients or your potential buyers to come and then find everything organized and see what you do by just clicking your highlights so it, it really helps and i will advise you guys to to do it to whatever um product you're selling just do it the same way just copy what i have shown you and then just make it like this unique and yeah